Daisy, Governor Rick Perry is saying that this is a political move that he took oath to protect the Texas Constitution, saying it clearly outlines the governor's power to veto. He says, quote, we don't settle political differences with indictments in this country. Today, Action 4 News spoke with some in the Valley who agree with him. He's being set up by the Democrats uh, and that uh, it's, a sh it's kind of a, a sham for them and a way to get back at him geopolitically due to him usurping that uh, Democratic uh, lady who got the DUI conviction. The governor addressed his indictment just yesterday at the Texas Capitol, a day after being indicted for abuse of official capacity and coercion of a public servant. Governor, I took an oath to faithfully uphold the Constitution of the state of Texas, a pledge that I have kept every day as I've worked on behalf of Texans for the last 14 years. The charges are part of an ethics inquiry into his veto of funding for the state's public integrity unit. After vetoing $7.5 million in funds, the governor made this decision after Travis County District Attorney Rosemary Lambergs was arrested and convicted of driving while intoxicated back in April 2013. Perry wanted her to resign, but she didn't. Some believe it might affect his possible second run for president. It will certainly affect his election run, his posting for, he wants to run again for president. He didn't make it last time and this info will be out there and the big, in the bigger scope voters will go, hmm, to scrutinize it more. Now Perry has not mentioned if he is considering stepping down. Right now we are told by our sister station in Austin that Perry will be turning himself in sometime this week. We will of course keep you posted with this developing story. For now, in the studio, Valeria Ponte, Action 4 News.